Hey guys, what is up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com and today we're going to get stuck inside the airplane because people often say, oh, you know, you wreck an airplane and you can't get out the door. Well, just kick out a window. Luckily, we've got an airplane here that we can kick the window out of. I haven't had one of those before. Typically, I, I would be very upset if someone kicked out my window. But today we're going to do just that and find out exactly how easy it is to bust out of your airplane once you wreck it. So typical Piper Cherokee, normal whatever plexiglass this is, looks like about an eighth inch thick, maybe a little more, give or take, but uh, about an eighth inch thick plexiglass feels fairly sturdy. Um, well, I guess not that sturdy, whoops. Uh, I was supposed to wait till I was inside to do that, but obviously still pretty strong. So we're gonna hop in there and see just how easy it is to kick your way out of an airplane. We'll try kicking at the door and also try kicking at the plexiglass and see if we can get out via the window. All right, so we've crashed, we need to get out, and let's say we're sitting here in the left seat and we cannot get out of this airplane. Well, probably the first thing I'm gonna do is, if I can't get out my door, which conveniently enough is already open, uh, well, then I'm probably gonna start kicking on this window, and with not much effort, well, it seems like I'm probably gonna be successful in getting out, especially with all that adrenaline of, hey, I just crashed an airplane and I'm stuck in a tree somewhere. Well, I'm probably gonna be able to get out of here. And without cutting up my feet too badly, I think we can safely say, yeah, we'd be able to find our way out. That will actually work. Now, I've heard about people kicking out the windscreen before, and can you kick out the windscreen? Well, this one seems a little bit tougher to do, and I almost kind of have to adjust my seat to be able to do it just right. Now, how about the door here? So, well, let's say that the latch doesn't quite work and you feel trapped in here, or you, perhaps you forget to flip that lock up there. How hard do you have to kick? And well, for the average size person, this cockpit's fairly small and going to be fairly easy to really brace your back against the side panel here of the uh, airplane and go ahead and start kicking, pressing, and well, that was fairly easy. I was already able to kick out that latch. Now, as far as this top latch here, probably gonna be a little more difficult. We're gonna see what kind of damage we wind up doing to this door here. But if your life really depended on it, I'm sure you could, well, I'm not really having much luck there. I wonder if I can actually get out now. Oh, look at that, still works. All right, one more try. We're all locked in. We can bust the bottom latch real easy. How about the top one? Ah, oh, no. Well, that worked for a minute, but if you're not quick, I guess you won't be able to get out in time. <laughs> Let's try once more. And I would have to say that kicking your way out of an airplane, provided your legs aren't broken in little bitty pieces, is a valid way to get out of an airplane in the event you're stuck otherwise. As Stephanie always says, it's totally doable. We actually have a t-shirt that says that, I think. I should be wearing that right now. Either way, guys, hopefully this was somewhat educational, somewhat uh, kind of reassuring that, yeah, in the event things go really wrong, have some confidence, kick your way out. Probably jeans would have been a better bet and some sneakers rather than flip-flops. Flying in flip-flops for a number of reasons, such as fires and then also trying to kick your way out of an airplane, not the best idea. Can't say that I've always worn sneakers, but definitely a better idea to wear some sort of real shoe rather than just flip-flops when you're out there flying. And at the end of the day, yeah, I'd say, as long as you're still functioning and your body's not too broken up, you'll be able to kick your way out of an airplane pretty successfully. For more videos like this, because this is all part of our What's Inside of an Airplane slash We Are Destroying an Airplane video series. You'll see more of these videos here on YouTube and a lot, lot more, about three times as many, on flyatmikealpha.com. Cutting up the airplane, cutting the wing apart, showing you what's inside the wing, what's inside the fuel tank, what's inside the engine, how does your starter work, how do the magnetos work, what's inside of a flap, how is this all ribbed together and screwed together, how does it all work, plus, We'll show you some fun videos of us basically destroying what's left of this airplane. So any questions, as always, leave it in the comments below. Hopefully that was fun and somewhat educational. And if you can't fly every day, then fly at mikealpha.com. We'll see you all in the next one. Ow. I know. What did you bump? My head. Oh.